All right, what's up, TyNX community? I hope you guys are having a good one. I'm pretty sure you guys are. Just by the token price, and as a matter of fact, just the whole entire TyNX ecosystem, the protocols, I know you're having a great one. Like, this is insane what we are experiencing. And what's even crazier is that this is still the very beginning of what we could be seeing in a few months, next month even. So get your seat belts on have them strapped and be ready for what is literally around the corner do me a favor at the end of the video if you enjoyed it be sure to click the like button it helps the algorithm big time comment down below anything any emoji anything at all trust me it gets more eyes out there that's why our holder count is growing on the contract wise for ether scan and all that so we are growing every single day more and more people eyes in general are coming to tie next and it's because you guys interact with not just my videos but all influencers out there okay so thank you so much if you do so we're looking at day 354 and it's it's so freaking funny bro yesterday's video i had like two people comment on my video saying Oh, it looks like you sold way too early. Oh, you're going to FOMO back in. You sold too early and now you're trying to chase the bag. And that my video in the past few, I think like two, three days now, since over here actually, so about three days now, I never said I sold my Tyne X. I never said that I, that I sold and I'm waiting for a pullback in order for me to buy back in those if you paid attention and listened to what i actually was saying let me i'm going to um, for for those people <laughs> i'm gonna rephrase it in easier terms okay this is technical analysis right i want this as well as everybody to go way over here right in order for us to go way up here, matter of fact, you know what? Screw it. In order for us to go way over here, we need pullbacks. And that's what I was trying to say in the videos. We need a cool off section in order for us to reach crazy highs. We cannot just go shoot straight upward. It's not healthy. It's not safe. It's just the worst thing to do. We want to go up, I don't know, 200%, and then have a pullback of 20%, 50%, and then head up again another 200%. And that's how you create a healthy chart in order for us to go towards our actual target of, oh, 10,000x, oh, 55,000x, oh, 100x, you know, stuff like that. That's the way to go. It really is. And the only way I, the only reason why I was saying we need a pullback is because we do. The RSI is way overbought. Okay, I will be happy with a ten percent to twenty percent pullback. I expect it to happen. I, I matter of fact, I thought it was going to happen over here. TyNX said, "Screw you, I'm going higher." I expected it to happen right here. TyNX is uh, is bending me over again and saying, screw your technical analysis, I'm going higher. Like, it's defying some crazy odds in, in, in a good way, okay? I don't mind this. I love this. Everybody does. Green all around, right? Your portfolio looks great, but it will look even better if we get a healthy pullback for us to head even higher, okay? That's the main thing that I want to tell you. I'm trying to make sure... You know, everybody sees that it's the reality of crypto and stocks and all that is that it cannot forever go up. It will have a pullback at some point. And I want to also rub it into those people's faces that were saying that I'm chasing that. I Oh, I must have sold too early, blah, blah, blah. OK, I want to also rub it in this price action that was happening right here throughout this scenario. I was day trading, swing trading. Tynex in Ethereum and DragonX in Tynex and all that. My portfolio token wise is up 20% just because I was trading here, selling up here, buying down here, selling up here, buying down here, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I'm up token wise, quantity wise. I'm happy with what I have. You know, like 
Marco said, you don't have enough Titan X. I have a lot of Titan X, but I want more. I don't have enough, right? I'm happy with my bag, um, but I want my bag to be as fat as possible. And with that being said, we need a pullback. It could happen over here, but now I'm like, is it even going to have it here? Like, the pullback could happen over here. The pullback could happen over here on this blue line. That would be crazy. That's actually insane. It That's my, that's actually my next target. If we break out this yellow line, the blue line is very possible. Which, by the way, that's five zeros and a four. That would be for my next video, actually. That's going to be insane. 1334 on the daily looks hyper bullish. The four hour looks hyper bullish. Like there's no indicator saying that it's looking bearish. Even on the one hour, the one hour is having a small, very small cross. By the is it a cross? No, it's not even a cross on the one hour. Literally everything just says hyper bullish. Like trust me, I don't mind. I love this. But Titan X needs to cool off, okay? I'll be ha like I said, I'll be happy with even just a 10% drop. That will be enough to reset this RSI. We are really overbought, okay? Um, as much as I want it to go higher, we need a pullback. All right, I hope you, I don't know, I said this multiple times for this video alone, but hey, we'll see what happens, you know? We could actually see 17 by tomorrow at this pace. Watch us finally have a pullback because I said that. At this pace by tomorrow, give or take the next 36 hours, we could see 17. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. These two blue lines are resistance lines in which I thought we should have had a pullback. But Tynex said, no, not today. I'm going higher. I don't care about any fundamentals. We are going straight up nonstop. We'll see what happens, though. On the other end, Vault is going freaking parabolic. Like, well, this is by far... Uh, It's not loading. Oh, man. There we go. This is by far the craziest project I have seen in a long time like a long time the potential in this is insane what it can actually go to is insane i already alerted it on the members by the way join up man the members right now are about a 20x for almost a 20x from our entry price of about two zeros and a two five Join the YouTube side on the members only, or if you want to join the subscriber, the private subscribers, members, whatever only on my Twitter account, that's perfectly fine. I alert them guys as well. And we got in at 0025. We did, I did alert and I took profit at around three cent, give or take, two, two, eight, two, six, somewhere around there. I did take some profit, but I also said, I was going to hold a good majority of it in case this happens. And it's happening exactly that. Like this is why this is why you take profit and this is still why you hold on to some tokens like 10%, 20%, 40% of your position just in case outcomes like this happen. Nothing is guaranteed, nothing is promised. Always take profits. It's okay to take profit and make sure you get at least your investment back. So that way it can just be free money. So members, you're, we are up amazing. Like if you are still holding from 0025, that's our average roughly 0025. We are looking like this can head to around 10 cents. Massive, massive mover for Vault, and it's not done. It is not done. It's currently about twenty three percent already burnt. The sub total supply over there, the volume is insane. Three point two two million dollars. Liquidity is insane. Eleven point one two million dollars. Market cap is hitting forty million. I'm telling you, this is not done. I shouldn't say this, and I shouldn't get your your hopes up, but. The fact that this can see one million, I'm sorry, 
one dollar is very likely not tomorrow not next week you know a lot of things are in store for november for volt if you don't know what i'm talking about they've been tweeting about it you know for a hot minute already they've been mentioning you know i think it's going to do like one certain thing every week for all of november if i remember correctly so it's like boom viper boom you know so on more and more and more stuff outcomes for volt 22 percent already burnt so this is looking really really good if you're still holding great job man i'm proud of you you know a 20x is insane but the fact that if this goes to a dollar and you hailed from my alert of 0025 that's a 500x roughly is that yeah like give it yeah it is wow and i'm holding literally it's all free money for me there's no reason at all for me to take this and cash out no reason like i already took out a few thousand dollars for my profits from my entry of 0025 roughly and i'm gonna let the rest of it ride and see how far this goes this is just the beginning hyper deflationary for sign x is just barely like it's just deflationary it hasn't even hit hyper deflationary and whenever tyne x hits that range of hyper deflationary way down here i think november mid-november to end of november is whenever hyper deflationary starts volts could be at ridiculous prices 20 cents 50 cents 75 cents and it has the volume it has the liquidity it has the volume it has the holders it has the people behind it it's looking very nice don't fomo in take this as a, as a grain of salt you know i'm just putting some stuff out there but join up be a member on twitter or uh, the subscription on uh youtube either platform works i upload both videos on each one i do more content more tweets on twitter just because it's easier for me to send out a tweet than it is to record a video for the youtube side um but guys we're we're up if you include Volt and Inferno and um, what other plays, Legend X, Element, bro, I think, I think we're pushing now because of Volt's gains, I think we're pushing like 3,000% profit now, which is mind-blowing. And there's still more left to go. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the like button, subscribe, comment down below anything. I'll be seeing you tomorrow in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.